Hey, what's up everybody? Piston2x here. And uh, in this video here, I want to show a comparison between the graphics of Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3. Now, I'll kind of do be showing you some uh, side by side side by side screenshots along with, uh, you know, gameplay or trailers of each of the games. Um, but my personal opinions on the graphics of the two is uh, overall, Battlefield 3's graphics are better than Modern Warfare 3's. Um, a lot of people are saying that the graphics are, are, you know, are just blowing Modern Warfare 3 away. I don't, I don't agree with that necessarily because I, I think that they're two different looks, they're two different styles. So you can't necessarily say that Battlefield 3 is way better. I do like the graphics better overall, as you can see right here. With Battlefield, the, the graphics, what they do good about the graphics in this game or the look of this game is that they take the Battlefield, the, uh, you know, war-torn, uh, you know, crummy look of, you know, a Battlefield, you know, the destruction and everything, but they make it look, you know, really nice and pretty. Unlike, you know, some of the maps in Black Ops or World at War where it has that, you know, old crummy look and, you know, you know, just destructive sort of look to it. They don't do a, such a great job on that. Theirs just looks boring. But uh, Battlefield here, they do a great job. They they make it have that old look and still have a vi and still be really vibrant at the same time. Um, but Modern Warfare 3, on the other hand, I'll go over and show some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay here. And this is probably the first Call of Duty that the engine is the exact same as a previous Call of Duty. All, since Call of Duty 4, you know, all the Call of Duties have looked similar. And uh, I don't know if they're built off the same Quake 3 engine or something like that I've heard. I don't know the exact details on that. And don't tell me what you think the details are on that because I don't think you know either. But, um, you know, all the Call of Duties of graphics have looked similar. But I think each one has looked different since Call of Duty 4. World at War is slight change from Call of Duty 4. Modern Warfare 2 is a, ch a slight change from Call of Duty 4, and uh, Black Ops is a slight change from World at War. I mean, but they all look, in their own way, they all look a little bit different, at least I can tell the difference of them. But uh, Modern Warfare 3, the graphics do seem to be exactly the same as Modern Warfare 2, which isn't a bad thing. Modern Warfare 2 is my favorite Call of Duty. With, as I've said before, there's only just a few problems with it, with like grenade launchers and stuff. But graphics-wise, I think it's the best-looking Call of Duty, and uh, Infinity War does a great job on that. Um, but as I said before, and uh, you can kind of see some side-by-side -side screenshots here of each of them, uh, you can see that Battlefield still has the more, you know, it's got the brown, you know, camo and the, the desert or whatever, you know, and the urban looks are just everything's... Everything's still vibrant, but real, but still realistic looking. Whereas in Modern Warfare 3, it's really vibrant. I like that look, but it, it's you know not as you know great and realistic looking as uh, Battlefield 3. You know that's about all I got here. You guys tell me your thoughts on the graphics. As I said before, Battlefield 3, Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3's graphics are are definitely better because. They give it a great look to it and still make it look really realistic. They still make it look vibrant and realistic at the same time. Whereas Modern Warfare 3's look a little bit more cartoony, which isn't bad. But uh, I like what Battlefield 3's engine looks like. So tell me what you guys think on that. Uh, I know I read all your guys' comments. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And see ya.